What's up, what's up, what's up, man? It's your boy, Cool the Brown, the trucking prophet. Man, we already know about Will Smith when he put that pimp slap down on Chris Rock. But let me tell y'all, that was part of the plan. Them, those are called humiliation rituals. Now, I don't know what Chris Rock did, but he took it. But as far as Will Smith, see, Jada's a strong negative influence. See, Will Smith is Will Smith is wholesome. He was very powerful in Hollywood. He could do no wrong. But believe me, you, any black man that gets that high up on the charts, on the food chain, they gonna break him down. Like Will Smith, he had he did reverse gendering on his own kids. You know, like Willow's like a boy and his his son like a girl and he switched them up, got their head all screwed up. You know, they done ran up in Willow, you know, just like they done ran up in Jada. Jada, I believe, was there when they did Willow like they did her. But Will Smith his sacrifice looks like to be a good chunk of his career now. Because you got to believe Chris Rock was their man. So when he did that, he had to pay a price. But you notice, nobody's hugging Chris Rock. Everybody's hugging Will Smith. Because the reason they hugging Will Smith is because they know what has happened and they trying to tell Will Smith to keep his head up he'll get back here return but he's for the lose hundreds of millions of dollars because of that so Will Smith had to pay that price Chris Rock he had to take it see they always break it down and then the, this is the part of the Oscars they not talking about Samuel L. Jackson received his first Oscar ever, and he received it from Denzel Washington, the last black man to win an Oscar. And they didn't even televise it. They didn't even speak about it. You have not heard anything on the news about Samuel Jackson finally winning the Oscar after all those Capital One commercials. So that's how that game is played. So they shut Samuel L. Jackson out. They humiliated Chris Rock because getting slapped is just the biggest bitch move you can do to a man, any man. But a black man, Hollywood superstar, did it to a powerful comedian. It was even worse. And then on the back end, it cost Will Smith hundreds of millions of dollars. And Jada is just piling in on it because Jada is very wicked herself. Man, you got to watch this. You're not going to make all that money and become that successful and not pay the price. People don't know. Here's, here's a kicker. Will Smith, before Prince, they before they took Prince out, Will Smith actually called Prince. Now, this is Will Smith. Pretty boy, wholesome, but he knows the deal. And he's so far up in them rituals that he called Prince himself and told Prince, look, give them folks the masters. If you do not give them the masters, they are going to take you out. Prince, Prince was like, fuck them. They just going to have to take me out and eventually they did that's why he was in the elevator because the elevator is symbolic of going up as in heaven or going down as in to hell they found Prince in the elevator at the bottom you gotta watch these folks man and it was Will Smith that they had relayed a message that's how powerful Will Smith is in old circles, so Will Smith is fit to pay a financial p 
penalty because at the end of the day, they make millions of dollars off Will Smith too. But as they say, they got to break a Negro down. So in one night, they humiliated Chris Rock. They broke Will Smith down financially. And they shut Samuel L. Jackson out the Oscars all together. This your boy Kuda Brown out here on these highways and byways. Man, I'm trying to make America great again. One mile at a time.